Yeah, see, it's concrete walls with some sort of sealant on it. So if we break it, that's not good. Hi guys, we'll sit here with Steadfast Farm. So we've got a little bit of action going on this weekend, I guess you could say. It is May long weekend, and we have a bunch of stuff that we have to get done, and now we have even more. So sometime in February, our cistern froze, and I had to put the livestock heater down and get that thawed out, and it seems that we had some damage. We were concerned that the pump was damaged or that the bladder had um, frozen downstairs in the pressure tank systems thing. And I'm really glad we didn't replace either of those things because I noticed yesterday that when I went and turned the pump on it was sucking air. And I came out and looked in the cistern and it's just billowing water. It's broken right at the side of where the cistern connects to the pipe that goes into the house. So now we have to drain the cistern of what's left of the water using our sump pump that we have. Hopefully the hose that comes out of the sump pump is long enough. And then we have to go down into the sump or into the cistern and see what the damage is. So this could be really interesting. I am going to tie a rope to the sump so I don't lose it down there. Attach it to the hose and the plug and make sure that I don't drop the plug into the water and we're going to get the sump working to pump out the cistern. Come on. Now, I know that there's a pull thing to get these started. Oh, I found it. Never usually can find it. There's still ice in there. Okay, it is actually sitting on the bottom. That's good. I didn't think we would get there. If we break it, that's not good. Merrick. Well, I can reseal it. Um, would you want to bet that your clamp will break right off of there? Just an inlet. Oh, there it is. Take some footage down there. You know what that is, right? Yeah. Fun homestead job of the day, down in my expansive, cavernous 
cistern. Hey, would it make a good shelter slash bug out? Well, sure, if we, uh, if we decided to plumb the uh, well into the house instead of this, which would be nice, but... So what we're doing is our intake into our house has been sucking air and it's not holding its prime. So look down here and realize right where it goes into the wall right there, it is leaking, which isn't a surprise now that I'm down here and looking at it. So now I've got to figure out how the heck I'm going to get this repaired. So. Uh, pass the camera back up and see what we can do. Do you still think this is going to work looking at it all brushed off? I have no idea. I think I can see where it might be cracked right here. So. Okay, are you able to grab me that uh, rock and stuff? Yep. What would be doing that? Just air? Make it smooth. Yeah, that's exactly where that is. Merrick, away. So it's not gonna. It's a little work to run and you need to. I make it. I make it pancakes. You need it more pasty. So, judging by the look of the box, you basically make this into like a putty and fold it on. Is that what I'm getting?
give it until like three this afternoon and start loading it up or? You're gonna come down and check after. So basically where we're at now is um, working with a homestead which is approximately, well at least this main building's been here since probably the 60s when it was moved on. The cistern has been pieced together and finally getting down inside there and seeing the pipe coming through the wall. It's been leaking like that for quite some time and I think it just finally let go to the point where it's just not holding uh, a prime in the pump anymore. So I did my best to patch it with some hydraulic cement, uh, some concrete patch supposed to work essentially underwater. Um, unfortunately that is not quite uh, working out as it's advertised so that's uh, going to take a little more work but we did manage to get it uh, sealed up a little bit. It isn't leaking nearly as bad as it was so hopefully we can at least uh, kind of nurse our pump along for the time being but ultimately what we're going to end up having to do is dig down on the outside of the cistern approximately five to six feet and actually access the pipe underground as it comes into the cistern. And we're gonna have to get all that cut out of there, put a new pipe through, and uh, get it done properly. Um, it's gonna be quite a task, because it's sandwiched in between the cistern and the house, so we'll, uh, we'll show you a little bit of that once we get uh, to digging, but uh, yeah, it's gonna be a bit, of a bit of a task, but everything that seems to be on this homestead, so. So that's it for this video. Anyway, make, what are you, we are doing us. This is us right there. Okay, can you say, remember to like and subscribe? Look at the camera. See it. Subscribe and we will see you in your next video. Remember to like us and subscribe us, or like this video and subscribe to us, and we will see you on the next video. Until then, be safe and stay well.